Hey, welcome to another video about AI agents. And with me today, I have Adam Silverman, who I have a previous video about AI agent ops. So I'm going to let him introduce himself and go from there. And nice to be chatting. But uh, yeah, I'm the founder of Agency. Uh, so we got a big announcement today. So we, we announced our fundraise. Um, we, we created Agent Ops. Agent Ops is like leading observability and compliance platform for AI agents. Um, and we're super excited with Agency to start helping even more Fortune 500 companies bring their agents from prototypes all the way through to production. Okay, so um, go ahead and explain what agency is and how agent ops is incorporated into that. Sweet. So what happens? A lot of customers were using agent ops, and they were coming to us asking us, "What are the best practices? What agents do you recommend off the shelf? Are there solutions for us?" And that's really where we started off. So we we started off basically ad hoc, giving these recommendations. We're not necessarily consultants, but we do help big companies trying to figure out how do we actually adopt agents, how do we actually bring agents into production. And how do we actually have agents that we can trust and, and that are safe and reliable and compliant with internal processes? Okay, awesome. Yeah, it's uh, I think one of the big things with LLMs when they were coming out or dealing with AI agents is so much stuff is happening, but we have no idea what is actually happening happening in the background. So getting agent ops and looking at the dashboard is so simple and easy to understand what's actually happening and even debug where things are failing. It was this amazing product. And the fact that it was free even too. Right. Just a simple API key is all you need to run it. So that was awesome. Yeah. No, it's been great. The goal now is like when companies are thinking about, can we automate this? Is this even, you know, is Agentic Workflow the right type of workflow for, for automating this task? They're contacting agency and we're basically their go-to source for everything agent related. Okay. Awesome. What is, um, what is like kind of like a, what is like a single or you maybe a couple pushbacks that you get when you try to say, hey, you need AI agents to be a part of your workforce. What kind of pushback do you get, if, if any? I think the big thing is that a lot of companies don't realize that you can actually deploy agents really reliably in a compliant way. So I think a lot of companies are coming to us saying, Hey, we need to track our agents. Okay, great. We can do that. Okay. We need to make sure that, you know, they're only, you know, uh, that agent ops doesn't have access to any of the data. Great. We can do that. But they want to make sure that, you know, we can deploy on-prem or on, on their own servers. We, we can do that. So I think a lot of it is kind of breaking down the hesitancy and, and then being maybe necessarily scared about the potential risks um, and just making them aware that, okay, you can use you know, local models. You don't need to be giving all your information to OpenAI or Anthropic. If you do want to go with OpenAI and Anthropic, we won't see any of those LLM calls if you're, you're on our enterprise plan. So I think there's a lot That's of okay. these, this type of pushback that we've dealt with a lot, but it, it, it's really exciting. keeps us uh, kind of on our toes. Yeah, that's actually a big thing that I see a lot of time is everybody wants to, um, you know, I'm not very important. So if, if OpenAI gets my information, you know, whatever. I mean, it is important, but to be private, but yeah, I'd be able to use a uh, local AI agents and track what they're doing. That is a wonderful product to have. So what is your goal moving forward with agency and where can people access it? Cool. So yeah, you can just go to agen.cy. So it's, it's the word agency. Just That's a good a, play on words. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. yeah it's like N in the C. That's the best place to reach us. Um, I'm always reachable at adam at agentops.ai. And if there's any big companies listening to this, like we're always happy to do lunch and learns and educate you on what's cutting edge and like what's actually working in AI agents. So one other thing I can share with you, we have a list of like for 400 agents that is totally free. Anybody can get started using it. Um, that's like such a killer resource and like people are loving it and like bring it to their boss and like not getting promotions, but their boss is like, where do you find this resource? <laughs> um, so I'll share that with you. Okay. Um, and yeah, it could be super cool for anybody listening just to kind of get up to speed really quickly on AI agents. Awesome. So uh, first off, I didn't even know that you had, yeah, so you have 400 AI agents that are just kind of ready to go kind of plug and play. Uh, some of them are deal? on your side, some of them are a bit more plug and play. Some of them you have to okay. be a developer, some not, but uh, everything across the spectrum from like, I've never coded in my life before to I'm a season 10 year PHP vet that can you know do anything. So everything Sweet. along that's, that, that's, that's awesome. I mean, cause I think a big thing is, you know, now I think last year was, uh, okay, what is an AI agent? What can we actually, like, what is it? How do we even do something with it? Now it's okay. Now we're can be production ready, but what can we do? Right. So having these ideas ready for somebody to just start out with that's. That's awesome. That's a wonderful resource. For sure. I think the only way to get things production ready is to test things and make sure yeah. they actually work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so my, my biggest recommendation for anyone listening is just like get your feet wet, start testing stuff, you know, even start on weekends and then maybe bring it into work. Like try, try projects. You know, if you're watching this, you're, you're already like half the way there. Um, but there's just so much good content on YouTube that you can learn from. There's so many great co content creators posting stuff on Twitter and on LinkedIn and other platforms. So the second you kind of lean in a bit, I promise it'll pay dividends that are 10x what you could possibly even imagine. All right. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing about your uh, new agency. I love to play on words again. Is there anything, uh, do you have any other comments or any other, I guess, 
like resources or other ways for people to contact you? So is it just LinkedIn, Twitter? Our website, our website has a contact us. Uh, we're actively hiring. So if there's anybody listening and they're like, oh, I am that 10 year PHP vet or <laughs> you really want to get into this space, uh, give me a message and we're always happy to chat. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate the update. Thank you so much.